Hello everyone, myself Pamit Kumar Mani, founder of Global Pharma Academy. Today I am going to tell you how to get internship opportunity in the pharmaceutical industry. Basically, you have to know the difference between internship and training. Because most of the students tell in the resume also, you have done internship of one month or 45 days. So it is not an internship, it is a training. Basically, it is industrial training. Whenever you are going for any industry and in the production or QA or QC, you work for some days and it is a part of academics. So it is a training, okay, industrial training you can say. So it is not an internship, kindly note it and you have to write in your resume accordingly. So now internship is the like the period for the internship is like a six month or more than that even three months is also internship but it depends on the company to company about the project requirements and uh, the definitely there are benefits of the internship if you are a fresher internship opportunity if is there then you must have to grab okay because most of the time the do uh, specific domain don't have any uh, particular job full-time job okay and there are opportunity in the internship so for example clinical SAS opportunities are there but less but internship opportunities are there you can grab that opportunity so basically you need to know there is internship in any organization you have to apply it so i will told you how to apply it but before i just have to tell you that the benefits of the internship how to apply for this internship when you have to apply for the internship which is the ideal time for getting like applying for the internship and getting those opportunities so let's get start uh, so if you are new to our channel i request all of you to kindly subscribe our channel because our channel provides various career opportunities information related to the pharmaceutical industry as well as uh, giving you information about the latest interview tips and various certification courses information related to the clinical research so the first i will told you about the benefits of the internship first benefit is if you got opportunity in the internship you will get an exposure for the particular domain for example if it is related to the data management so you will get opportunity in the, to work in the rave software or clinical oracle on the clinical data you will get information about it and which is very beneficial for full time job or whenever you are applying for the full time job for example, in our organization, one of our students had got an opportunity for the internship in the data management and after completing this internship, they are applying for the full-time job and this internship opportunity helps them to crack those interview and also getting selected. So this is real time example from our organization student. So that is why internship is very good to get an exposure for that particular domain. Next benefit is you got stipend most of the time. So see, there are two types of internship, unpaid and paid. Paid internship got a good kind of stipend or unpaid internships are also there. Especially unpaid internships are related to the hospital pharmacy, means hospital pharmacies or clinical research coordinator, where there is a clinical trial is going on, there is an opportunity as an internship in clinical research coordinator. So if you join those, whether it is unpaid, you can go. Okay, means uh, it completely depends on the organization whether they are offering paid or unpaid but don't hesitate or don't even think like you don't get any payment for the any, for the internship because internship is three months to six months you have to get exposure as i say in the point one whether it is paid or unpaid you will get experience and that will be very important for your region okay next thing networking means once you got opportunity you will get information about your colleagues about your company about other companies peoples as well like so many your uh, like uh, uh, networking will be increased the professional network will be increased and that is very important for your personal growth as well and last benefit is very important that most of the time your internship will be converted to the full time job i give you one example of our academy student uh, who is from the clinical research batch uh, see uh, he joined in the Fortis hospital as an uh, intern okay it means it is an internship in the clinical research coordinator two months he uh, worked there and his work is really good i mean he is a dedicated student from our academy so he worked very well when internship jobs you have to do very seriously then and only then there are high probability you will become noticed by that organization and same thing happened with him and that thing his uh, internship like converted to the full time because there is opportunity in the crc where his work is considered okay so likewise you will get full time opportunity as well in the same organization 
so these are the benefits now i will told you where there is an internship opportunities internship opportunities are mostly in the clinical research related in organizations in the like uh, 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 in the clinical research coordinator in the cdm even in the drug regulatory affairs are also internship opportunities and even uh, industry also okay in manufacturing industry also has an internship opportunity and hospital pharmacy also so how to apply first of all very important thing connect on the linkedin you should be present on linkedin and there you can check by filter like internship in pharma okay internship in clinical research internship in clinical data management likewise as per your domain you will got to know about various opportunities in the internship in various location okay so likewise you can check and apply for this particular internship opportunity most of the time your college also play very important role for internship opportunity some colleges are tie up with the very many organizations who are providing internship internship opportunity in the continuous time okay so that also help you okay but many of the time see many of the time there is also uh, organization who provide internship along with the course so that time you also have to check whether it is paid unpaid how much costing is this how much costing of the whole course okay you have to check and then you can apply for this so last i will told you which is the ideal time first ideal time for the internship is final year okay or after completion of your graduation or post graduation because internship is a full time job it is not like remote work more very less time it is a remote work if it is a us related health organization then it is remote work otherwise it is a full time job okay i i mean it is a physical work you need to have an permission from your institute about the internship if they allow you then you can apply for the same okay so that's it from this video i hope you got information about internship opportunities and how to apply for this internship and even benefits of that for such kind of career related information about the pharmaceutical industry kindly subscribe our channel don't forget to share this video to you, uh, your friends and colleagues and if you like the content don't forget to like this video as well So thank you from this video keep learning thank you